LinkedIn training session today. Um, I'm going to give you four tips that I think could be a game changer, if, especially if you're not strategically using LinkedIn right now. This can really help you be more strategic in your efforts when you're opening up LinkedIn, not, not to just sit in the like home screen section um, right here where you're just like scrolling through and seeing what people are up to, which is great. I mean, it's good to be... Um, you know, kept up in the news and to be commenting on people and all of that. But to be more strategic, I'm going to talk about a few things here that I would recommend. So number one, the most important piece of real estate on your LinkedIn profile is argu arguably this right here, your professional headline. So most people don't update it or do anything with it and it just um, defaults to your uh, heading as far as your title. And so if we look here, for example, your um, headshot and your professional headline go together everywhere you are. So if you're posting something or commenting on something or in your you're in a search like this, you see you see the headshot, which by the way, you need a headshot. So important professional headshot on LinkedIn. I don't even have that as part of my four tips because it's just so important that it should already be done. Your uh, profile is 11 times more likely to be responded to or connected with if you have a headshot than if you don't. So just statistically, that would just be silly not to have one. So make sure you've got that. But aside from that, you will see that there's this tagline right here called your professional headline. And when you don't update it, it's just going to be your default, which is your current title. Okay, so you'll see down here like director of business development versus right here, strategic cost management expert serving CEOs and CFOs. So very important to update that. Number two, when you click on a profile, so we'll just go to mine, right underneath this, you start to see this information right here. It's called your summary. So your summary should answer the questions like, who do you serve? Who are you? What's your background? Uh, why do you do what you do? Where do you focus your time as far as, you know, uh, geography, uh, goals that you have, connections that you're looking for? It should be very meaty and people should reference that when they're reaching out to you. It's a great relationship building opportunity and it helps also to filter out and make sure that you're making the most strategic connections. So spend some time on that. Write it in first person. Don't like not like a third person thing. This is a um, per professional personal uh, profile. So write it in first person, be very uh, just uh, able, friendly and w able to connect with people and watch how that is really something that people use in their referencing of connecting with you. It's pretty cool. Okay, next up, let's talk about searching. So up here, you can click on this little search glass and that is going to bring you into where you can do a little bit of advanced connecting, you know, all these then filters come down here, right here. But let's just say that we're going to do accounting. So we're going to target accounting firms and we want to target a CEO or president of an accounting firm. Okay. So, and then we want to click on people because we're looking specifically for people there. And, um, and then we are going to look at just our second degree connections in this realm. Okay. Uh, so we're just getting our second degree connections here for accounting CEO or president. And you'll see right here, we've got 3,491 results. Well, um, first of all, you got really strategic in who you're searching for. And so therefore, you're going to be spending your time connecting with people that are most meaningful, which is really important to do. So that's my third tip is to search strategically. My fourth tip is to um, learn how to save. So you can go in here and you can create search alerts and save a particular list so that you can always come back to that list when you're logging in like, hey, I'm going to reach out to 10 people every time that I log in, right? And the other thing here is when you save this, which I already did that, you can save this list and you can see when new contacts are coming in. For example, I've got this Vistage chair list or this VP of HR or president of human resources list. Since I started that list, there's 108 new contacts in this list, 186 new contacts in this list. And it will update you every week on the new contacts that are coming in, but you can just be really pointed on the list that you're working in much more strategic. So those are my four tips update your professional headline, which is the most important piece of real estate, especially from a marketing perspective to get people interacting with you. Your summary is where you go deeper in explaining who you are, what you're working on, your goals, so that 
hopefully people are filtering why or why not to connect with you. And it's a great marketing opportunity for yourself as well to get, you know, people engaged and wanting to connect with you. And then searching, using that search bar, not just randomly searching, but being much more targeted on keywords. And then finally saving your searches so that when you log in, you can spend time specifically on that list. So those are my 